Hello everybody, very exciting quarter final. We've got Dimmy G, champ, 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 up against Artemis Black with his Necro. Um, obviously Dimmy with Undead, Undead OP. We've got a Guard Blitzer, a Tackle Blitzer, and then loads of Blodgers and a Wrestler. And no skills on the mummies, no package. <laughs> Poor old Dimmy, no package. And uh, Artemis actually decided against the package. Most people chose the package, Art didn't. So most people swapped the skilled up, um, like the DP zombie, most people swapped that for a skillless ghoul. Um, but Art didn't, Art preferred the DP zombie. So yeah, no, neither side has taken a package, um, interestingly. And then of course, three block and four guard is pretty standard. Um, and if we look at the draw here, bear with me. You can see the draw. Um, it's Artemis versus Dimmy. Court Guy, the winner of this will play Court Guy in the semi final. And Will King will play the winner of Talk 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 and Pagan Agent in the other semi final. So there you go. <laughs> Champ Dimmy G versus Deplorable Sewer Wretch Artemis Black, indeed. Are they green and gold? Probably, yeah. But I'm just going to do blue and red so you can tell them apart. Dimmy defending against the Blitz. Picking up with a, uh, <laughs> a ghoul and not a zombie. Oh, they're not even green and blue. He didn't even, he didn't even change them. Ugh. Green and blue, they're not even green and black. That's a sad day when Dimmy doesn't make green, black and gold for his team. So Art will be trying to smash the mummies with claw, right? If you can. Otherwise just kind of, you know, limit their impact. Very interesting and then, you know. It's very it's an interesting matchup. It's like it's weird. It's a weird it's a weird matchup. It, it can go either way, I think. I think mean, sometimes... It, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think maybe it's like Necro or a bit dicey. It seems like... Seems like Necro or a bit dicey. If they can get some bang outs, they take over. If they don't get any bang outs, they kind of struggle. Oh, I hate this. I, I thought he was just going to leave it like here, right? I thought he was just going to leave it cross it was in a pretty good spot now he's inviting them around the corner I think he should have just left them where they were before he went for the pickup right in case he failed I think they were better they were better set up to to handle failure leaving them uh, what's this leaving them in chevrons Undead. So uh, Dimmy's undead and Artemis is necromantic. So the big difference is undead get mummies and four ghouls and whites. Whites are very similar to wraiths, except wraiths can't pick up the ball and wraiths have sidestep and foul appearance. So like wraiths are better apart from they can't get the ball. Um, flesh golems instead of mummies. Flesh golems are very slow. Um, not very slow, sorry. <laughs> Mummies are very slow. And flesh golems have like stand firm and stuff, so like they're a bit interesting. And then Necroth get two wolves, which are incredible. Oh, he hasn't gone four block. He's gone. He's yeah, three blocks. Sorry, he's gonna block wolf and a wrestle wolf. Um, I'm undecided on which is better, whether two block or one block, one wrestle is better. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, biggest issue is the limited ball handlers. And yeah, one good claw on the mummy can turn the match up on his head, yeah. Yeah, like, the big thing that that Art will be looking for is to bang out a mummy if he can. And Timmy has to both get use out of his mummies and protect them at the same time, right? And Dimmy lacks guard with this team, so... <laughs> Dimmy does have secondary ball carriers as zombies, yeah. <laughs> Dimmy is the pioneer of the uh, zombie ball carrier. 
Yes, yes, Zebras, yeah. <laughs> funny you should say that. It was so funny when when uh, when Art got the removal and I was like, he's definitely just going to get blitzed back and cast, and then he was. <laughs> No, I don't like the coming to the fleshy at all. At all. But, gets the knockdown. And can move away, can he? Yep. I hate moving away that way. Move away this way, right? Stay away from the sidelines. Don't get pinned. Also, bring your ball carrier up. Oh, th th this is really weird, not bringing his ball carrier up. Really weird not bringing the ball carrier up. Spl he's splitting his team and not bringing the ball carrier up. Do not like. <laughs> yes, Dimmy can play for the concede win by simply rolling a 3 plus at any point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, should have moved the ghoul away from the fleshy, yeah. Yeah, that was really weird. Maybe he was going to foul the fleshy, yeah. Maybe he was going to foul the fleshy, but yeah, I mean, I'd have definitely wanted to move the ghoul away from the fleshy. Oh, Art Rolls Dub Scots. <laughs> Gets a removal, though. Exactly, Randall Cowley saying exactly. I mean, Seabros took it to the extreme. I think I think Seabros went a bit too far in the last game. With how, how, how completely bonkers he started playing. <laughs> that seemed that seemed evil. <laughs> I was like he was trying to trying to get him to burst a blood vessel or something. <laughs> oh, dear. Immediate dub skulls, yeah, classic Artemis. I really hate this from Dimmy though, going so far away, right? Like he can't reconnect with the rest of his team. Like, I'd stand these up now, probably. I probably would have just stood them up. Just to stop the mummies coming back, right? Because Dimmy needs the mummies to come back to, to cage now, which, you know, you shouldn't be moving mummies back, right? So. Well. Maybe he's going to move the mummies forward. You'll do nothing. Oh, 16 on no quitter. Glorious. Oh. The ghoul goes from one flesh at the other, but gets the knockdown. Very important that he doesn't let Art get the wolf in <laughs> anywhere. No, just give it strength. You've got to give it strength. But you can give it edge as well, couldn't you? You could give it edge. He does not protect the. So now, what you can do with a wolf is, you can uh, you can hit here into the. No, you can't. It's, it's a screen. So there's a screen there. You can hit here, right? You hit round the back. Hit round the back into there. Or you could blitz this guy, and then chain the mummy. So like, there's lots of ways to get a claw hit on the mummy. But 
Blitz him to chain them on me. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet, right? Blitz this guy. Fill this. Blitz this guy. Chain them on me into there. And then claw them on me. I don't think it's so debatable. I mean, I said this from day one, so um, when I said plus AV was insane for 10k, um, I also said, you know, plus strength is great. And it is. Just chains off the mummy or what? No, it doesn't chain it off at all. I don't like this, honestly. Don't like this, I definitely, I definitely like clawing the mummy more. Everybody does now, so everyone, I mean, everyone's, everyone's caught on now, haven't they? And uh, there's lots of AV ups. There's lots of AV ups now. Um, but I still think strength is great. Strength rate is fine. The, on, the only issue is the cap, right? The only issue is the cap. The only thing stopping you taking more plus strength is the cap. You'd think so, wouldn't you, Halamese? Uh, you'd think so. But yeah, 10 TV is incredible. Yeah, you can always just take Adge, right? You can always just take Adge on the carrier, that's... That's great. It really helps you not to lose versus Skaven and Elves by like one in nine, right? So taking away the one in nine fail is great. And then obviously it helps you dodge as well and stuff, so Yeah, if you if you really want to carry it then plus edge is a great role. Better better than just having plus movement twice. This is quite good for Dimmy that this guy's tagged out and there's no guard up here. The problem is that the mummy is abandoned, isn't it? It's a bit of a problem with the mummy. Um, so maybe this was stronger for Matt to not hit the mummy straight away, but to abandon it and uh, get these guys back to cover. And You know, it's pretty good. I would just like to have nailed the mummy instantly. Turn four panic. Only gets a push. He's basically got to follow. Because he's way too likely to get knocked down up there. I'd have gone strength too, I would have just had strength four, right four, move eight. Dodge. Tackle. Chunk chunk chunk. There's a lot of hits for Art now though, and he's already one player up. Now he's two players up. There's a lot of hits. A lot of, lot of hits. He can fleshy this guy. Just that he gets the hit into the mummy. With this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is, I think this is the way. This way he gets to hit both. But, um... I like stranding one one mummy and then getting this one on claw. Yeah, 
There is a big foul this way though, yeah. Yeah. But this is why I hate the not what I would have done. Because it, you know, now it's just not what I would have done, right? It doesn't mean that it's shit. He's getting a dirty player foul on this one, which is great, isn't it, actually? And he gets to hit the other mummy as well. Yeah, it's weird the way Dimmy's gone so far back with the ball. Very weird. Just invited out to do this. Just he'll probably roll an instant double one, right? Instant snake. No. And still gets to put pressure on as well. Yeah, this has absolutely collapsed for Dimmy, hasn't it? I think it's a, I think it's a pretty horrible matchup, Karen and I. If 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 the undead get on, like if the necro get on top, right? If if un, if necro get on top versus everybody, it's it's fucking horrible. And like the the wolves are so likely to knock over your mummies if they ever get to hit them. And you know, and then they're hitting them with claw, and then they're fouling them as well. It's like it's brutal. I think every, nothing really feels good against necro. Well, we'll find out when we see bros. Uh, see bros versus Devo in Super League. Yeah, Dark Elves. Yeah, Dark Elves were the one, weren't they? They uh, beat them three times, didn't they? And the time that I beat you, I diced the shit out of you, and it was still an absolute struggle. And I probably should have drawn that game. So yeah, I'd say Dark Elves are the answer to Necro. Yeah, though they can still get like they can still get banged out though. Like anyone, I mean anyone can get banged out, but. Like Necros Necros just have the best snowball, like unarguably I would say. Unarguably the best snowballing team. Seven minutes and thirty seconds, no idea. Very, they've got so many good things, haven't they? At low TV, like here, like they've got like sidesteps a great thing at low TV, isn't it? Foul appearance when it triggers is brutal. We're getting all the removals here, aren't huh? three removals to one of Dimmy's. Is the wolf gonna blitz here? It is definitely going to blitz. Yeah, yeah, they're really good for NAF. They're like nowhere near as good for not NAF, right? Because for not NAF, they've got like skill up the ghouls, which is really difficult. But not NAF, they just get them already skilled. And yeah, they, they're, they're stacking guard with sidestep and guard with stand firm and block with frenzy and stuff. Disgusting. Yeah, very bloating progression. Yeah. And it depends on the pack as well, right? Like, this pack gave them pretty much everything they could want, whereas other packs will give them less. So, the, the, pack, the pack changes things a bit. Whereas, like, stuff like Dark Elves always have a good pack. Pretty much. And maybe not always. But, like, you know, if it was lower TV, then Trolls would be better, wouldn't they? But... And if it's higher TV, Necro better, basically. That sort of thing. Yeah, Dells. Dells are pretty much always consistently great. Another one gone. Comedy Mega. Oh, God. It's funny because I, you know, I think Art has had the better dice, right? He's removed four players to one, but also, and Dimmy's just dub scold. 
I also think Art has outplayed Timmy, like, you know, over, like, cumulatively every turn. So, you know, there is that. Not like, not that, you know, Dimmy's, like, done a horrendous blunder or anything. It's just, like, the little things have added up, right? The little... But that wasn't, that wasn't like, brutally punished, was it, though, Alma? Do you know what I mean? Like, there's nothing that's been just brutally instant punished. It's just been, like, little things that have added up and added up and added up. Little good things from Art and little bad things from Dimmy. And again, little things from Art that he, would have, he did differently than what I would have done. But now you can just long vomit to this girl and Artemis will cry. Six plus pass, no problem. Oh, the intercept should have GFI to stop it, right? Because he could reroll his own GFI. <laughs> he rolled the six for the long bomb. Standard. <laughs> oh, he, this guy should be one square further forward, though. The flesh, you can just get him. <laughs> I'll play it, get shot on her. <laughs> all the all the rape, but he's got, he hasn't got blocks. So he could, he can actually sidestep the wraith as well, can't he? So he can block the he can block the mummy and then sidestep the wraith in and then one two three oh no one two three four five six there's still a GFI no and then he need an assist no, it's got to, it's got to be the fleshy hasn't it? it's got to be the fleshy blitz it's got to be the fleshy double GFI oh you can chain him forward first yeah 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 oh do you though yeah well he, yeah you put him in and then you just push him away if it's a push he's blocked his path. What an absolute loon! Maybe he's just trying to put pressure on to get like a two turn back. He's gonna dodge. No, he can't dodge blitz with that one. Well, what's he doing? Does he know that he blocked his path? Why didn't he base the mummy? He's just going to make the dodge. Could you imagine Art if his opponent just rolled a dodge for no reason? He actually needed it by, by by not chaining the wraith. He actually had to do the dodge, didn't he? Because he had a double GFI. He actually had no, no, it was one GFI. No, I don't understand that. That was just bad buyout. Yeah, he just needed to push the. Yeah, Dimmy just needs to uh, score. And Art used both his rerolls. Yeah, when he did that turn, I thought he was just going to run back. You know, like, run back, move the ghoul to there, and then, like, move the wraith to here or whatever. And then, uh, be content with a two turn with two rerolls. But now it's a two turn with zero rerolls. The touchdown dance! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Yeah, maybe tilt from the long bomb, yeah. <laughs> Demi's the best. <laughs> the, the emotes and the touchdown dances. Glorious. Oh, 
Oh, wow, aggressive chevrons. <laughs> no rerolls is going to make this, uh, yeah, very tough for us. The G is for the greatest. KO rolls rough for Dimmy. And, uh, irrelevant for Art. Well, they're not actually rough for Dimmy. He already took so many, didn't he? They were fine, 50 50. But quality wise, it's rough, isn't it? Both whites. Both whites are out. Unfortunately, we can't have Artemis microphone. Um, I'll try if you want. Unbelievable! <laughs> what an absolute moron! <laughs> Terrible! <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> of course it's an instant one on the rush <laughs> the, si the, s the six on the r the six on the long bomb was great though wasn't it that was like inevitable <laughs> that was absolutely inevitable Oh dear. Is Artemis here? I am here. Oh, no, ju just Elliot. <laughs> All I needed was normal dice. But that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know? That is Blood Bowl. Art. Did outplay him in every every turn apart from the turn where Dimmy did the fucking long bomb and broke away and uh, scored. <laughs> Maybe C bros, but uh, I, I don't know what you mean. I, I, wait, what do you mean C bros? He is here. I'm not playing a sound clip, am I, Elliot? I am here. <laughs> See? <laughs> why, why, why would you think there's anything to loop? You weirdo. <laughs> I wonder if this, uh... Right behind him. This is alright, isn't it? Then he's got the two scoring threats and he's got the ball here. It's a pretty good turn from Art. <laughs> Still banned by Elliot. Oh dear. Elliot is here, yes. Maybe can't. Elliot's always here. This is a really good turn from that, actually. Really nice. This is uh, not 
great. It's the pal. Yeah, it looks really funny to speed it up. Mm. It's... No con conchin. It's uh, it's the Blood Bowl three interface is to put it bluntly, shit. <laughs> In my opinion, in my opinion, I like everything like looks too in focus. I think that's the problem. Like I've got the graphics turned down to make it look kind of a bit smoother and brighter, but it's, uh, it, otherwise it's like darker and it's just everything's like hyper detail, which is like, you know, like it's hard to say that's bad, but it just, everything looks all in focus. The, the skill icons I'm not a fan of, lots of the UI I'm not a fan of. I mean, it has improved since, since you know, a year ago. So maybe it'll keep improving. And yeah. well, it's it's still Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, at the end of the day, quantum is. like Blood. We enjoy Blood Bowl the game, don't we? And this is Blood Bowl the game. Well. Yeah, mostly we enjoy it. Here we go. Perfect buyout here makes the one D. Now he's just going to do a three plus to score. Should have stood up his wolf first for the bubble box. Misplay by art. Fails it. Um. <laughs> of course, it's an immediate. Immediate one, of course it was. Um, yeah, but he should have stopped the wolf there, right? Because uh, the, he could have he could have rolled a one, and the ball could have gone that way, then onto the wolf, and then back. Oh no, because he could have caught. No, he was right. He was right to not stand there because he could have caught it. So by leaving it lying down, it would just bounce straight back. So it was brilliant play by Art to not stand up. I was being a big dummy. Disregard, errata, errata. I was an idiot. Art was correct. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's looking like overtime at worst for Dimmy, right? Might even win. It was a, it was a bad decision to not roll a three plus. What I would have done there, I'd have simply rolled a four. Um, I don't know why Artemis chose to roll a one. That was uh, just foolish, really, wasn't it? There's no, there's no way to sugarcoat this. That was just bad play from Artemis rolling the one there. That was really bad decision. Mm. <laughs> exactly so. Exactly, yeah. Uh, the thing is, Jay Baz, if you roll the six on the handoff, it's just it's too much right mix, too obvious you're cheating. I would, do, do you know what? Here's a question for you, right? Here's a question for you. Engagement question for you know anyone who's still here. Should have been should have said this at the start. Um, if David Blaine played Blood Bowl tabletop, would he be world number one? <laughs> he wouldn't have to learn how to play. Just based on, you know, his ability to just, you know, sleight of hand, always roll whatever he needed. Like, would anyone catch him cheating? I don't think so. I'm sure he'd be able to just cheat loads, right? I'm sure he'd be able to cheat as will. I'm sure he'd just be able to cheat at will. And no illusions. Mm. Exactly, Punter, see? So that's what I'm saying. Wouldn't you, shouldn't just chose to roll a six? CJ Baza, strategically add in failures. <laughs> Moan loudly at every fail so you look like you're diced. <laughs> oh god, Darren Brown, yeah, yeah. Darren Brown was pretty great, I thought. Lovely. 
lots of cool things he did, didn't he? And then get sixes on critical passes, exactly. Yep. Uh, no, no, Darren Brown isn't down. I think so. He did like he did a Russian roulette thing, right? He did a Russian roulette live stunt that apparently had a real gun or something on Channel Four. I don't know if, how true all of that was. <laughs> oh wow! I wonder if I wonder if uh, Dimmy's gonna throw a couple of ghouls after this. I don't want to hit moving a couple of ghouls round. <laughs> it's just the swarm law. Ghoulies deep. It's interesting, isn't it? Because if you, if you put the ghoulies down, they're like exposed into gang fouls. But also, if you put them down there and things work out for you, you can just turn them over and score. But um, they probably can't get close enough to be a valid threat, honestly. So they probably shouldn't come through. Really hate blitzing from that angle, right? If he blitzed from this angle and got the power, he could have left it on the mummy. <laughs> An English mentalist. Yeah, I enjoyed. I enjoyed the like the power of suggestion things and stuff he did. Down the ground. David Blaine did lots of mental stuff as well, didn't he? Like not just the. Uh, Sleight of hand thing. Oh wow, okay, well I've... Yeah, I... The problem is he's not in range. This one is, isn't even in range, right? I'd want them both in range. So that if... And now neither's in range. So now one's just getting banged. And maybe fouled. Maybe both could get banged. Yeah, if he'd filled this square, he could have pushed this, right, then powered it there, and then this one could have sidestepped and he could have picked the other one as well. <laughs> and that was pretty greedy, but he could have done it. Gets a full pow. To removal. Yeah, that was the problem with exposing the ghoulies. They weren't. They just weren't impactful enough, right? They, if they were exposed, they kind of had to be like here, so they're just threatening an instant, immediate score the next turn. And even then, you can argue that's not worth it. But here, they just seem to be exposed for not too much potential benefit. Like, especially just not even being in scoring range, right? Because that's your, your best thing there is you can just score next turn. Might be unlikely, but there's a chance you can just score next turn. But this was also really, really bad, right? The, the, the push direction was the worst thing about Dimmy's turn. Because this guy could have been taken out because he'd be on the mummy, right? And instead... He's able to screen with it. He's like his absolute worst 40k player. He's managing to keep all of this stuff away. And it could have been there. Based on the mummy. And then you'd have taken... You'd have to take this guy up there and stuff. So No re-rolls on the pickup yet. From Art. So here we go. 
We're bursting through now with all three of these guys. I don't hate this at all, actually. This was uh, maybe maybe Art should have re-rolled this right. Getting the ball in here would have been very very good, and leaving the ball out here is very very bad. That maybe should have been a re-roll from Art. Maybe he made a mistake there. Yep, yeah, this is. Oh, Timmy just picks it up. <laughs> I roll one into one, and he just immediately picks it up in a tackle zone. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thanks, game. Once again, saved by the dice. <laughs> oh, man. But he could have used two rerolls picking it up, couldn't he? Oh, my God. He's failed the dodge. Makes the reroll. Hits it with wrestle. Pushes. Has to re-roll. <laughs> it's pushes. <laughs> Six dice on the ball. <laughs> uh, I don't know what percent that is. It's pretty high though, isn't it? 55, 55, 55. Um, I'm not eighty five percent or something like that. Is it more? And now, Dimmy might just be able to score, mightn't he? Hmm, it's a bit tricky. It's a little bit tricky at least. I'm not exactly sure what the best thing to do is. Cheeky snake, I didn't even notice that. Oh, he's out of rerolls. I didn't even notice the snake. Flip me. Oh, hand off. But he's not in range. Timmy, he's not in range. He's going to fuck off. He's going to fucking run away. <sighs> Alright, I can't. I can't condone this behaviour from Dimmy. If you're going to just run him over there, you might as well also dodge him out. Then you've got a team reroll. Like, you've got a skill reroll on it. And then three, four, five, six. Like, he's, he could be there, right? He could have been there on basically the same dice. And then had like a garter up around him. Yeah, that was a bit shit from Dimmy. He had to just make the dice rolls that he didn't want to have to make, right? He'd dodge this one, one, two, three, four. He had, to do, he, had, he had to dodge out with a ball. Dodge out with a ball, then like have a garter there. And then four, three this guy to get him up there. And then like three, three this guy. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Just, but then I roll an immediate dub skulls. First roll. They're my dice. They're my dice. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> the worst play. <laughs> Imaginable. <laughs> Instant dub skulls. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible because it was true. <laughs> that was uh, that was something, wasn't it?
<laughs> Timmy didn't even do. Timmy didn't even do the dance. Oh my god, that's that's that. Like even Timmy, even even Timmy was like, nah, this is too much. <laughs> oh god, that's how that's how bad it was. Even Timmy had some had some mercy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Ah, oh, sorry, bear with me. Wow. Um yeah, congratulations to me. Commiserations out, even though I laughed a lot, it was uh <laughs> it was <laughs> back to back snakes to finish the game for art. And uh, after Dimmy just does a casual long bomb, no problems. <laughs> just that did no no complete potato. <laughs> complete full potato. No semblance of any any protection whatsoever. Just absolute full potato and opposing dub skull. Incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> oh dear. Dimmy the champ. And there you go. So there you go. Dimmy G versus Court Guy in in the semi final. Oh dear me. And uh Yep. Oh miscounted, so you thought it was a touchdown. I it I was a bit bamboozled by that, honestly. I was a bit bamboozled, so yes, miscounting makes makes the most sense. So there you go, three nil, easy win. Another concede for art. I mean it was it was reasonable. It was reasonable, right? He could have come back and drawn. Of course, he could have done, but uh, it was very unlikely, wasn't it? With no rerolls, and uh, understandable to not be in the mood to try. Um, right? Yeah, the the miscount does does make the most sense. <laughs> but there you go, champ, champ, champ. Congrats, Dimmy. And uh, get the dimster in it. I mean, he can if he wants, but it could be seen as gloating. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Whew. Right, anyway, yeah, congrats to me. And commiserations out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.